Hi everyone, Wynne here and welcome or welcome back to another art diary video. Um, I hope that you've all been doing really well and that the month of May has treated you well. Um, in terms of my life, it was a really busy month um, socially. I travelled up to the Gold Coast for my cousin's bachelorette party early in the month and um, yeah, I'll explain more about that as the video goes on. But in terms of my art projects for the month, I've mainly been sketching up some tattoo designs for a good friend of mine. She's interested in getting a serif angel tattoo in her arm, which I think the idea is really cool. So I had fun coming up with a bunch of different designs and whatnot, and I'm nearly ready to show her what I've got. So that's very exciting as well. For this particular design, I kept the number of eyes minimal and placed most of the emphasis on the large heart, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> I do love using stippling as a um, shading technique, but I, it's not very time efficient and I find sometimes, and mind numbing is not the correct word to use, but I feel like it could be, it does become a little boring if you sit down and you do it for an extended period of time, so I generally try to um, listen to something interesting if I am stippling and I don't feel like listening to music, but um, tattoo art has always interested me for a long time and um, at the moment I'm saving up for money to buy equipment of my own and start practicing on fake skins and etc so I think that'll be very exciting hopefully I can do that quite soon so my lovely cousin's wedding is in June and I spent about four days up in the Gold Coast catching up with family and of course partying <laughs> why else do people go to the Gold Coast um, but I also really enjoyed the quiet moments, like watching Netflix together. If you can tell, I don't really have an art style and honestly, I'm not worried about finding one at this point in time. There's something very free about not boxing yourself into one particular thing and I think at this point in my art journey, it would be much more valuable to hone the fundamentals than to be concerned about what style I fall into. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I've thrifted a bunch of photo frames and intend to use them in a future video. But to get that ball rolling, I tested it out this month and um, I started doing that with this experimental drawing. But in all honesty, I was not very happy with the results. Um, like, I didn't hate it, but I wasn't crazy about it. I, I just felt I could do better, so, you know, I gave it another go. And I think it's difficult when you make art to draw the line between improvement and perfectionism, because it's so easy to just keep chipping away at something and over polishing it and just doing too much with something and then there's the contrast where you don't push yourself far enough and you sort of stagnate because you believe you're doing the best or you're adhering to your style or whatever. I was much happier with um, the drawing the second time around. I took a bit more of a structured approach instead of going in with the markers straight away and just plotting down shadows and everything. I actually drew up a bit of a sketch of the woman and I went from there. Small side note for me, but there's nothing more apocalyptic than an empty nightclub. It's just, there's something just very awkward about it. <laughs> going in the YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> this is yet another Seraph Angel inspired drawing and I thought it was nice using a colour other than black as I predominantly work in black 
and whites, although this year I have been breaking that pattern quite a bit and trying to expose myself to colour theory, but learning colour theory is actually quite a big thing to do. <laughs> I don't have much else to say about it, so you can enjoy the background music. So yeah, I was stuck at the airport. My cousin lived a fair distance away, so I booked myself into the hotel airport for the night and although I had parking lot views, I still thought it was very pretty. I'll insert photos. Hello! It has reached that point of the video and that point of the month where we do the monthly sketchbook update. Um, <laughs> hang on. This is sort of where we left it off last time because I believe I made these two right before I left at the start of May. Um, and then I made this also right before I left, but I finished this on my, on the train. Um, again, another experimental piece, and I really like this one. I thought it was cool. I'd like to maybe make more things like this in the future. And then in my previous art diary video, I mentioned making a print, but then I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I printed it or not. This is it, that's, that's that print. Um, I did end up cleaning up some of these lines and whatnot but yeah not bad and then i drew this i made like a reel out of it and pretty interesting i think could iron out a few things with it but i would be interested in lost wax casting and turning this into like a necklace pendant and the chain can sort of loop here in between these can be fused together I think that could be really cool and um while i was with my cousin we we binge watched wednesday together i didn't finish drawing wednesday but i drew a need and i actually quite like them i think they turned out cool i don't know if i'll do much else with them they can just stay sketches um yeah i started drawing something but didn't get there this is one of the angel designs i started for my friend because I don't think, I think she was unsure whether she wanted something humanoid or not. So I drew something humanoid and I was like, well, what do you think? And she was leaning towards something more like this. So I've been drawing more things like this. Um, yeah. 
I still need to finish this, these eyes. And um, here's the other one. I really like this one, this one's my favorite. And the drawing from before, I stuck it in here and I just drew a lady. It was a, it was a very interesting pose. Somewhat challenging, but I enjoyed it. Um, another one. And I really like this drawing so far. Unfortunately though, I've run out of this blue ink for my fountain pen and I already replaced my fountain pen with black ink. So I'm not sure when I'll get back to this drawing. And this is probably why my fountain pen is out of ink because I drew this lovely little picture. This is supposed to be a caterpillar. You will not believe how difficult it is to find a good reference photo of a caterpillar. And, um, yeah, Ray Ayanami, anyone? <laughs> and that's all, that's all from me. If you watched the video up until this point, thank you so much. And if you are subscribed to the channel, thank you for your support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, like, maybe consider subscribing to the channel, pretty please. <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your day.